this is the final public hearing of, to adopt the fiscal year 2022 budget for the Board of County Commissioners of Pasco County, Florida. Citizens will be provided a opportunity to speak during the public comment portion of the hearing. Does the clerk have proof of publication? Yes, Mr. Chair. Proof of publication um, in the Tampa Bay Times on Sunday, September 26, 2021. In accordance with Florida Statute 200.065, the first issue to be is discussed is the recommended millage rates and percentage changes from the rollback rates. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Members of the board, the aggregate millage rate as advertised on the truth and millage notices was 9.3482 mills, which represents a 1.49% increase from the aggregate rollback rate of 9.2107 mills. The reason the aggregate millage rate is higher is because the total taxable value increased between last year and this year, generating additional revenue levied for the same millage rate. Table one in your handout shows the millage rates for the various county levies and a comparison of the recommended millage rates to the rolled back rates and the prior year adopted millage rates. Rather than read this chart into the record, we have provided copies to each commissioner, board records, and members of the audience. At the first public hearing on the budget, the Board of County Commissioners adopted a budget based upon the millage rates used in the truth and millage notice each property owner received. At this time, I'd like to give a brief summary of the general fund and transportation trust fund budgets stating the millage rates, the percentage change from the rolled back rate, and the reasons for such a change. The millage rate for the general fund is 7.6076 mills, which is a 3.82% increase from the rolled back rate of 7.3275 mills. The millage rate is the same as last year's millage rate. This morning, the County Commission received a presentation outlining the amendments to the final budget. These changes will have no effect on the final millage rate. The county realized a 10.8% increase in taxable assessed values over the past year. Compared to the current fiscal year, the current, uh, I'm sorry, the general fund expenditure budget represents an increase of $106 million. The main factors for this increase include an accounting of the American Rescue Plan contribution, reaching the recommended reserve level of 16.7% of budgeted expenditures, fully funding the sheriff's budget request, a wage increase for board and constitutional officer employees, opening two new fire stations and adding a second rescue unit at station 30, adding a veteran service officer and additional personnel in the planning and zoning divisions to address the increasing development workload. Prior action by the Florida legislature eliminated the requirement for a mandatory transportation out of lorem tax. No transportation millage was levied last year and we propose no millage be assessed this year for the transportation trust fund. At this time, I would ask that the board accept public comment and then vote on the general fund and the transportation trust fund millage rates and associated budgets. The minimum vote required to levy the general fund millage rate is a simple majority or three votes according to the maximum millage rate calculation. Does anyone wish to speak to the board regarding the general fund and transportation trust fund? Mr. Chair, we have three people signed up. Okay. So I will call um, the three individuals, if you could line up at the podium. First is Shannon Egbert, followed by Jennifer Newsom, followed by Faye Noyle. Hello, my name is Shannon Egbert. Uh, good evening and thank you commissioners for allowing us to speak tonight. Um, I have a letter to read into the record for a friend who is unable to speak. Commissioners, I am unable to speak at this meeting due to a work commitment. I have been a citizen in this county since 1988, and this is the first time I have felt compelled to address you. On several occasions this past year, our elected clerk has spoken to you concerning funding for the clerk's office. It was stated at the last meeting that it is the county's responsibility to fund the multi-agency criminal justice information system for court-related functions. It is my understanding the county is planning to only fund a portion of that cost. I would use this analogy. I am responsible to pay my monthly water bill. I know it's my responsibility, but I'm only gonna pay half of it for this year. Next year, I will think about paying the correct amount. This board has done and continues to do great things for its citizens. I am so proud to call Pasco my family's home. It is time for this board to do the right thing and correctly fund the clerk's office. Sincerely, Donnelly Schmidt, 6872, Gideon Circle, Zephyr Hills, Florida, 33545. 
for one. Um, thank you again for letting us speak, and I just want to acknowledge everybody out here that is um, in support of Nikki. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> thank you, County Commissioners, for all you do, and thank you for your time. My name is Jennifer Newsom. I watched your last meeting in which the clerk requested that the county take back its expense for the multi-agency sieges. While the board agreed that it is the county's responsibility, discussion ensued to phase in its obligation over three years, while agreeing to only 40% of the expense in fiscal year 22. Mr. Biles stated that the clerk's request was a significant ask. The clerk is not asking for funding to purchase software or raise salaries. She's asking the county to take back its own expense that the clerk's office has been bearing since 2017. The significant ask here is not the clerk's, but the board asking our small office to continue bearing the county's expense. If you all agree that it is the county's responsibility, why would you have the clerk continue absorbing the cost at all. Thank you. Thanks. I'm a little challenged. Mm -hmm. so. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen of the board. Thank you for this opportunity to address each of you. I am Faye Noyal, and I stand before you as a Pasco County resident for five and a half years now. My family and I chose to locate here to Pasco after I served in the military for 30 years in the Air Force. I have also had the privilege of working at the Pasco County Clerk and Comptroller's Office for five years. I had the opportunity the other day to watch the board meeting specifically the part where the Pasco County Clerk and Comptroller address finances for our office. And I have some thoughts for the board. I know each and every one of you are charged to make some tough decisions sometimes. But I believe I heard you agree that the county is required to pay the funds addressed by the clerk according to the Florida statute. As a citizen, I, I'm just trying to understand the discussion. Because you see, I, I, I preference my military career because this is what makes sense to me. I had a boss of mine that used to talk to me about being a rule follower. He would tell me, Faye, sometimes you realize you don't always get it right. But when you find out something is not right, especially if you're not following the rules, you have the responsibility to get it right immediately. So my last comment to the members of the board is, if you agree with the rule and you agree maybe we missed some years following the rule, then don't you have the responsibility to get it right? immediately. I do know you have tough decisions to make, but I believe I chose to live in a county where the leadership follows the rules and they get things right. Thank you. Thank you. No clapping. Is there uh, any discussion by the board? I would like to address that last concern as I addressed it at the last meeting. And in addition, speaking with Nikki, if it's in our Florida statute that we're supposed to be funding the CJS program and the IT department, and we're utilizing, and she's utilizing that department to do service, provide services on behalf of the BOCC, I feel that we should be providing and reimbursing her for her expenses. Also, after discussing with her, she has told 
notified me that she has actually had to have hiring freezes and not able to rehire. Therefore, that is putting additional work loads on additional staff. Back 30 years ago when I was growing up, we discussed, they always talked about job security. And when someone is working for someone and giving them their all, they should have that job security and not have to worry about, oh, what if I'm going to be fired because we don't have the budget to provide enough funding to pay our salaries to our staff. And then in addition, also making, having that job security and not know that when the next person quits, I'm going to have to take over all of that workload. So I do feel that it should be funded, and I will make a, mo I will make a motion to fully fund the $640,000 for Nikki. Just for clarification, it's, um, the additional amount would be 671000 but I can get the exact number. Motion for 671000 because I feel everyone should have that job security and know that when they come back to work, they're not going to have to do the work of another employee that is no longer being able to be funded. Is there a second to this motion? Hearing none, motion dies for lack of a second. Thank you, Commissioner. Do you have a discussion from the board? If it is our responsibility, I don't feel we should be waiting three years to fully fund something that we are responsible for by Florida statute. Okay. Thank you. Is there a motion to adopt the millage rate with the general fund of 7.6076 mills? So moved. Second. I got a motion and a second. Um, all those in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, like saying. Motion passed, four zero. Is there a motion to adopt the millage rate for the Transportation Trust Fund of 0 0.0000 mills? So moved. Second. Yep. Got a motion and a second. All those in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, like sign. Motion passed, four zero. Mr. Goring. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chairman and members of the board, I will now provide a summary of the Fire Municipal Services Taxing Unit budget stating the millage rate, the percentage change from the rolled back rate, and the reasons for that change. The Fire Municipal Services Taxing Unit Fund has a tax levy of 1.8036 mills. This represents a 6.11% increase from the rolled back rate of 1.6998 mills. The increase in property values results in an additional $6.2 million in property tax revenue. The total fund is $9.5 million higher than the current year. The increase is primarily attributable to the negotiated firefighter wage increase, the opening of two new fire stations, and fully implementing the firefighter wellness program. At this time, I would like to ask the board to accept public comment and then vote on the fire municipal services taxing <laughs> unit fund, millage rate, and associated budget. The minimum vote required to levy this millage rate is two-thirds or four votes according to the maximum millage rate calculation. Does anyone wish to speak to the board regarding the Fire Municipal Service Taxing Unit? Anyone signed up? No one signed up. Okay. Uh, is there a motion to adopt the millage rate of 1.8036 mills for the Fire Municipal Service Taxing Unit? So moved. Second. Got a motion and a second. All those in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, like sign. Motion passed 4 0. Thank you. Mr. Chairman and members of the board, I will now provide a summary of the seven voter approved debt service millage rates. These millage rates are levied to repay the debt service for the general obligation bonds to include two tranches for the jail project, two tranches for the fire rescue projects, one tranche for the parks and Res recreation projects, and two tranches for the library projects. The seven individual millage rates are listed on table one in your handout. Rather than read this chart into the record, we have provided copies to each commissioner, board records, and members of the audience. The total of the seven voter approved debt service millage rates is 0 0.2098 mills. This is an increase of 0 0.1096 mills over the 2021 actual millage rates of 0 0.1002 mills. Three additional tranches of bonds, one for fire rescue, one for libraries, and one for jail, were completed for the past year and will be levied for the first time during this budget cycle. 
At this time, I would like to ask the board to accept public comment and then vote on each debt service millage rate. There is no vote requirement for these millage rates, so a simple majority or three votes is all that is needed. Does anyone wish to speak to the board regarding any of the seven bonds millage rates? Seeing no one. Uh, is there a motion to adopt the millage rate of 0 0.0387 mills for the 2019 A jail facility bond? So moved. Second. A motion and a second. All those in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, like sign. Motion passed 4 0. Is there a motion to adopt the millage rate of 0 0.0920 mills for the 2021B jail facility bond. So moved. Second. And a motion and a second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed, like sign. Motion passed 4 0. Is there a motion to adopt the millage rate of 0 0.0301 mills for the 2019B fire rescue bond? So moved. Second. I got a motion and a second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, like sign. Motion passed 4 0. Is there a motion to adopt the millage rate of 0 0.0176 mills for the 2020A fire rescue bond? So moved. Second. Motion and a second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Motion passed 4 0. Is there a motion to adopt the millage rate of 0 0.0134 mills for the 2019C? Parks, Recreation, and Natural Resources Bond. So moved. Second. I got a motion and a second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, opposed, like sign. Motion passed 4-0. Is there a motion for to adopt a mills rate of 0 0.0124 mills for the 2019D Libraries Bond? Motion to approve. Second. I got a motion and a second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, like sign. Motion passed 4 0. Is there a motion to adopt a millage rate of 0 0.0056 mills for the 2021A libraries bond? Motion to approve. Second. Got a motion and a second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, like sign. Motion passed 4 0. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chairman and members of the board, I will now provide a summary of the remainder of the budget. If you refer to table two in your handout, you will see the revenue sources and allocations identified by type without regard to individual funds as stated prior to any action taken by the board tonight. The budget totals 1,734,100, let me start that again, 1,734,114,389 dollars net of interfund transfers. At this time, I would ask the board to accept public comment, then vote on the budget. There's no vote requirement for the budget, so a civil majority or three votes is all that is needed. Okay. We will now receive public comment on the budget. Is anyone here to speak to the budget? No one else has signed up. Okay. Uh, at this time, I will entertain a motion to adopt the fiscal year 2022 budget as outlined by staff, including those adjustments made since the tentative budget or tentative public hearing presented to the county commission is the, at, at its regular meeting earlier today. So moved. Second. You got a motion and a second. All those in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, like sign. Motion passed 4 0. Mr. Chairman and members of the board, the actions you have taken today has set the aggregate millage rate at 9.3482 mills, which represents an increase of 1.49% above the rollback rate. I will now read the resolution adopting the millage rates by title only. A resolution of the Board of County Commissioners of Pasco County, Florida, adopting the final levy, levying of ad valorem taxes for Pasco County for fiscal year 2022 and providing for an effective date. Is there a motion for the approval of the resolution adopting the final levying of ad valorem taxes for Pasco County for fiscal year 2022? So moved. Second. Got a motion and a second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, like sign. Motion passed 4 0. Mr. Chair and members of the board, I will now read the resolution adopting the budget by title only. A resolution of the Board of County Commissioners of Pasco County, Florida, adopting the final budget for fiscal year 2022, providing for an effective date. 
Is there a motion for approval of the resolution adopting the final budget for Pasco County for fiscal year 2022? Motion to approve. Second. And a motion and a second. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed, like sign. Motion passed 4 0. This, con this concludes the public hearing to adopt the final minimum rates and the final budget for the fiscal year 2022. Thank you. Hey, congratulations to your, your team. Thank you very much. Mr. Gregg. You guys job. can, you, uh, Mr. Gregg said you're on vacation for the next two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. He didn't actually say that. Just kidding. <laughs> What's that? 